Hi. In this lesson, I will tell you how to add contour machining operation in Fusion 360 and we continue working with this project. Links to previous lessons are in the description of this video. There you will learn how to start a CAM project, how to define a stock, how to determine the position of the origin of the coordinate system and how to prepare a face milling operation. And now we will move on to the contour machining operation. Select this operation. This is the 2D contour operation. And in the first step, let's select the tool with which we will machine the outer contour of this part. Click Select and we will use the tools of the Fusion 360 library. Here, in the filters, select Flat End Mill as the tool type and select a 16mm diameter cutter. And here what is worth noting is that we have sets of machining parameters for different materials. Of course, as I mentioned, we choose the machining parameters depending on what tool we are using and what material we are machining. And these parameters should be available in the tool manufacturer's catalog. But for the purposes of this course, we are using the tools available in the Fusion 360 library. And here we can select a set of parameters for the material we are machining. I'm going to select the default preset here. But if you want some suggestion on what parameters to use for a different type of material and for a different type of machining, you can see what those parameters are available here. Click select to select this tool. As for the machining parameters, here we can change this preset that we selected when we defined the tools and we can select a different set of parameters or we can simply change these parameters here and this change will only apply to this one particular operation. But let's leave it as is and move on to the geometry tab. As for contour machining, it involves the tool making a pass along the indicated contour and here I would like to machine the outer contour. Therefore, I indicate the lower contour of this part as the contour to be machined. And here I could just as well indicate this contour, but I indicate the lower contour so that the milling depth is also read out based on the indicated contour. And here, in the case of contour machining, you can pay attention to the fact that such an arrow has appeared and this arrow determines the side and direction of machining. If you click on this arrow, it will be flipped to the center of the contour and then the machining would be from that side. That is, in this case, it would be pointless. And now this arrow needs to be flipped to the outside. However, if I now click here, it will mark the surface as another geometry for contour machining, which is not what I want. So right click here and select delete. And here in case the model is obstructing this arrow, then right click here on this chain, select edit and uncheck reverse so that the arrow goes back outside the contour. Click OK. And now we go to the heights tab and here we specify the machining levels. When it comes to these heights, we can leave the default values, but here in this case I will focus on the bottom height level and this level is specified at the level of the selected contour. However, I would like the machining to be a bit lower. Therefore, here enter a minus of, for example, 1mm as the offset. And now click OK to calculate the toolpath with the default parameters set in the side view to check if indeed the machining will be a millimeter below the indicated contour. And indeed it is. Here we have machining start, input tool, transition and retreat. And at the moment this machining is done in one pass, which doesn't quite suit me because I would like to prepare this machining in more passes. That's why go to edit operations. Go to the Passes tab and here I would like to set up this machining precisely in several passes in the Z-axis. Therefore, activate this Multiple Depths tab and as the parameter maximum roughing step down, enter, for example, 5 mm and this is the maximum step of one pass. Click OK 
and now this machining is done in several passes in the Z axis. And this machining, I'm going to leave it like this, but let's edit this operation and check if the allowances are turned on. OK, stock to leave are not enabled, so at this point I'll leave it that way. We'll come back to contour machining, but for now the goal of this training is to prepare the machining of this part using the minimum number of parameters needed to make this machining reasonably correct. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.